Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Breaking Borderke. It is my uh, YouTube channel about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, in the video today, we are in the rose garden section of my house. You can see there is one rose going uh, currently. But the point of this video today is to talk about taking advantage of your monsoon season. Now normally everybody has one, even us here in the desert. We get to one in uh, spring or summer and one usually around uh, the fall time it's when we have our uh, state fair and balloon fiesta usually they see some bad weather but uh, those are great points when to plant because you don't have to waste water it's naturally coming out of the sky for free and you don't even have to go out there and baby these things perfect for sowing seeds or starting things because there again nature takes care of it uh, what I want to talk on today is starting seeds here you can see I have a few different kinds, uh, nothing expensive or extravagant. Like I said, they're for cut flowers. Maybe I should do that a little slower so you can see them. But that's what they are. Uh, normally I like to soak them first, but I didn't have the forethought to do that. And I don't like to do be too picky when I plant things either, uh, especially starting seeds because uh, you're never guaranteed that they're going to pop up, so why well, take all this effort in meticulously planning it out and then something doesn't take and you have a dead spot. So what I like to do is just, if you have loose soil, just sprinkle them. You can see they went everywhere. And this is a mix, that's why there's different kinds of seeds in there. You won't see them all fall out. And then what I do is take my little rake, because they only have to be down about a quarter inch. Now make sure you read the packages. I just agitate the dirt a little, or in this case, it's compost on top. And make sure I don't see any little seeds on the surface. Now, like I said, since it is monsoon season, I probably won't have to water these. I will keep an eye on them either way, just in case. In the desert, if it's not monsoon season and you are trying to direct sow outside, you'll either want to water, I'd say, twice a day, maybe even sometimes three or four times depending on how and where they're planted. Once the seed dries out, it will uh, kill the embryo inside and you won't have anything coming up, so you'll be watering in vain. I'm gonna do another pack, this one here. <coughs> Excuse me. It is the zinnias. And this I think I wanna put over here in this big empty spot between these roses. I did not steal that sign. It fell off and I called the county to come put it back up and they brought a new one and they said well you can have that one so I thought it would be cool to put it in the corner over here of the yard that is basically a dead end but I didn't bring my little shovel with me, or rake with me on this side you can see a seed there one there and plant uh, to the package it says uh, in spacing six inches apart on rows and I'm just, like I said, going to agitate it, make sure I get them covered so they get something that will keep them moist. And it says 6 to 10 days to germinate. Hopefully they won't take that long. Uh, usually I can get them up in uh, a few days because it is so warm out here. And uh, take a look at the package, guys. If you guys are trying to start something from seed now, Check and see what it says on the package as to how many days to either fruit or cut your flowers. They have some that are 30 days to uh, 100 days is still good for me. I could still do something like that because we do have a long growing season. It doesn't stop growing here till usually uh, end of October. So you do still have enough time. Don't get discouraged. Uh, gardening should be fun. You shouldn't panic yourself. And if it doesn't work, well... I mean, you've seen the seeds were only a quarter, and I could always buy something later. But thank you for watching, and have a great day.